All right, starting this matchup, we have Cloud and Bayonetta. Pretty even matchup with Cloud getting a 50% win rate on Bayo. So again, very even here. It looks like Cloud still taking the stage very early on. Bayo doing your best to fight back, but Cloud's up Bs are just doing too much to Bayo right now and are making sure that she isn't getting those combos onto him. Nice shield by Cloud as well, blocking another combo by Bayonetta. They really need to be watching out for Cloud's combos here. Cloud just has to make sure that Bayonetta doesn't get any of these major attacks off any of these combos. Bayonetta already at 114%. Looks like Cloud might get this first stock on her if he keeps pressuring Bayo off map. Nice side B there from Bayo, making sure to get Cloud off the map using Witch Time. And it looks like Bayo will actually get that first stock. Bayo now at 134, 151. That's pretty high here. If Cloud doesn't finish off this kill, he's going to be in for a hell of a ride. Looks like Bayo's going to get some few more hits off of him. A nice combo. Cloud is doing his best to kind of play as aggressive as he can. Bayo being extremely smart, playing defensively, but making sure to get those attacks in where it counts. Cloud still fighting back and doing his best to get that stock out of Bayo, but it looks like she's not going to let it happen, and she will get that combo off as well, and it looks like Cloud will finally take that stock from Bayo, but leaving Cloud at 83%. Nice recover there from Cloud. Looks like Cloud again off the map, and a nice combo there, making sure he can't get back up and taking another stock away from Cloud. Bayo still with two stocks left, getting in some early hits on Cloud again. Those combos just absolutely brutal. Nothing that Cloud can do here. He just needs to do his best to avoid those. About even stock again. A nice shield there from Bayo going in for that another combo. Luck unfortunately and luckily for Cloud, doesn't finish off that last kick. Can't get that max damage output. But it looks like Bayo will take damage and get that stock out. But it looks like Cloud also one stock remaining. Well, it looks like the comeback's there. Bayo immediately gets that kill at 83%. That's some nice luck from Bayo. to the next fight here, Ice Climbers and Wolf. Looks like Ice Climbers already going in for those early hits. Wolf's gonna have to do his best here to separate the two. Wolf getting in some early hits as well. Both about even, both looking for that first stock. And as for this matchup, the Ice Climbers do win about 71% of the time. If they can get that freeze onto Wolf, they can absolutely neutralize him here. So if these Ice Climbers play smart, they're gonna have an easy win on this Wolf. Looks like they're already ahead anyways. Wolf at 98, Ice Climbers at 82. Both looking for that first stock. Wolf extremely close to that 100 mark. Nice recovery here by Ice Climbers. Unfortunately, Wolf couldn't punish it. And for that, the Ice Climbers are going to get some free hits in. A nice stun as well there, and they're going to finish it off. Again, they just need to look for these freezes to get those stocks off. Wolf getting a nice knock on those Ice Climbers, but they recover and just dodge him, doing his best to punish them. Nice shield there on Wolf, making sure he doesn't get stunned again. Looks like the Ice Climbers gonna recover again, but one of them goes out and Wolf ends up finishing them off. The only way Wolf can win here is if he makes sure to separate them as much as possible. A nice up B there by the Ice Climbers as well. Looks like they won't be able to punish his recover either. Just a bit too far away from that ledge to get that freeze off. Looks like Wolf finally does that, is able to kind of get him away from each other. But unfortunately, he's not able to do anything with that. Both of them just playing extremely passively right now. Ice Climbers don't want to get too close because they could get knocked out. And Wolf, just want to, he wants to make sure that he can separate both of them. But that's also a risk since he can get frozen at any second now, especially at 116. 
He really doesn't want to risk getting kicked out here, but he does need to make sure to play aggressively enough to get some damage off on these Ice Climbers. Nice hits again from Wolf, but they do block some of it. They get a recover as well. Wolf just sort of at a stalemate, getting some hits off here and there, but nothing to where they can knock each other out. Looks like Wolf gets a nice hit off, but it isn't enough to knock him out. Both at 121, Wolf lucky at 147. One hit here from the Ice Climbers, and he can be gone and lose another stock. Looks like they get another freeze off. Unfortunately, they can't finish that kill. Wolf at 190, extremely lucky here. Another freeze by Ice Climbers, but it looks like Wolf just won't let it happen. He doesn't want to go off the map. Makes a nice recover. Wolf knocks one of the Ice Climbers up. Can't finish off the other one though, unfortunately. Does get some damage though on him, 152, but it looks like he's gonna fall off the map, unfortunately, and lose another stock. Ice Climber's still close to losing that second stock. Wolf needs to be extremely aggressive here. Nice recover again by those Ice Climbers, and it looks like he's starting to separate them. Nice hit again on those Ice Climbers. They're at 188. One more hit from Wolf, and they might go off the map. 197, extremely lucky here. We're seeing some extremely high numbers from both of them. And it looks like Wolf will finally get that stock he's been looking for. Gets one out of the map, and there goes the second one. Pretty even playing score here with Wolf at only 41. Ice Climber's still at zero, though. He's gonna have to be extremely aggressive here if he wants to win this. Still slightly behind, but he's getting that damage in where it matters. Wolf just having a hard time getting close. Ice Climber's really keeping that distance from him. Looks like Wolf does get a promise worthy hit in there, getting the Ice Climbers at 97. Both of them just extremely wary right now. It looks like he gets a nice hit off of them again, but they are able to recover, doing their best to get back. But it looks like one of them will be off the map here. A true 1v1 will finally got what he was looking for, but he needs to make sure that he still doesn't lose this. Last Ice Climber still at 117. Wolf though at 90. Looks like they get a nice stun on him again, but not enough to finish him off. A nice kick up again, but it looks like it won't finish him off. Any minute now, we should see a move, an up B, down smash, something to get this last little ice climber off the map. But Wolf still needs to be extremely careful. Don't underestimate that last Ice Climber. Yay. Looks like an up B will finish the job. Wolf does win. Looked very unfortunate for him in the beginning, but he does pull it off. For this next fight, we have Squirtle and Bayonetta, where Bayonetta is weak against Squirtle, so this is going to be a very interesting matchup, since we've been seeing Bayo win quite a few games recently. Even with those nerfs, Bayo's still a strong character, doing their best to fight back, but it looks like Squirtle will get those first hits in, turning into Ivysaur now, getting those major hits off on Bayonetta. Bayonetta doing her best to get combos off, but he's just not letting it happen. Switching here to Charizard, doing his best to camp that, so Bayo can't get back on that ground. Bayo at 103 already, and it looks like Squirtle's gonna get his first stock here off on Bayonetta. Squirtle still only at 40% now. Bayo getting some hits off finally, getting close enough to do damage. But Squirtle just absolutely an enemy to just be stopped. He's just going crazy on Bayonetta. Bayo just having the hardest times with these swaps. 
Looks like Bale gets a huge combo though off on Squirtle here. And it looks like Bayonetta's gonna get that first stock off on Squirtle as well. Squirtle now Charizard, trying to fight back again, making sure that Bayo pays for that last stock. Squirtle getting some massive hits off again. Bayo at 66. Bayo quickly losing health here at 80% already. Squirtle doing his best to just play defensively. As soon as Bayo gets close, he just unleashes those just damaging moves. Crazy amount of damage coming off here from Squirtle, and that's just unfortunately where Bayo has the downfall. She just can't get close enough to get those combos off. Bayo again at 101. Squirtle only at 60. Looks like Bayo's gonna get that massive combo off though, getting him to 98%. Squirtle here is Charizard just waiting for Bayo to get close, and it looks like he's gonna find another stock again on Bayo. Bayo just having an extremely hard time getting close to this Squirtle. Nice dodges there by Squirtle, but it looks like Bayo's gonna get another combo off on him. Doing their best to do anything they can to counter this Squirtle. Renetta getting some nice hits off on Squirtle again as Ivysaur, and it looks like Bayo's gonna take that next stock. Grounds are about even now. Bayo could have a comeback here, doing which time, unfortunately, didn't get any use out of it. And it looks like Bayo will get to 88 here, doing her best to recover. Charizard is holding that ground, though. Wants to make sure she doesn't get back on that platform. Keeps kicking her off. Bayo at 100, recovering again. But it looks like Charizard will get that finishing kill off. Oh, absolutely not. It's still at 117. Bayonetta is still in. And it looks like she's fighting back too with some vengeance. Looks like Bayo was gonna make a comeback, but Charizard ended up killing himself. Bayo wins the game by default. Unfortunately, there, Charizard probably could have won, but made that game breaking mistake. Looks like this time we have Rob and Squirtle, both about even on the board, with Squirtle being weak against Rob to some extent. Both just extremely heavy hitters, so Squirtle's gonna have to make sure to be careful around Rob, as he is getting those early hits off and can do some better range damage. Both still even, 37 to 36. But it looks like Squirtle still is punishing Rob here. Squirtle now, Ivysaur just needs to do his best to punish Rob from behind. I mean, Rob is doing some insane damage right now. Squirtle now, Charizard, but at 134%, looks like Rob might take this first stock. He's definitely looking for it here. Looks like Charizard is off the map, but he isn't out yet. 164, another close one. One more of these, and yes, it looks like Charizard will go out. Back to Squirtle here. Unfortunately, loses that first stop against Rob, but it looks like he can come back here as Ivysaur. Rob still is at 92%. Rob is off the map. Looks like he's doing his best to punish him off, pushing him off two or three times, and it looks like he's gonna get that stock by default there. Nice counter from Squirtle there, just making sure Rob can't get back on that platform. But it looks like Rob's gonna do the same thing to Squirtle here, and he's gonna get revenge and take another stock from Squirtle again. Squirtle now, Ivysaur, one stock left. He's gonna be having to look out for some major damage here. He needs to find Rob's weak spot before it's too late. Ready at 36%. Looks like Rob's still in the lead with two stocks, only 29%. Ivy Sword is taking some massive damage here. Rob trying to punish him off the map. Both off the map right now. Nothing gonna happen though. Unfortunately, they just missed each other. Looks like Ivy Sword finally getting those hits that he's been looking for. Making them about even. This stop could be anybody's right now. Squirtle now Charizard. Hopefully he can get these big damage hits in now. But Rob's just doing his best to keep that distance. Something that Squirtle just isn't good at. Nice 
hit again here from Charizard, getting Rob out the map, looking to do his best to counter him. But it looks like Rob will get back on stage. Another nice hit from Charizard. Rob at 128, but Charizard needs to make sure he doesn't die. And it looks like Charizard will take that stock again by getting Rob off stage. It seems to be what's winning. Rob off stage again. Squirtle doing his best to punish him. This is going to be the main way he's going to get him off stage, but it looks like Rob does get that combo and will finish Squirtle. An extremely close game with Squirtle getting some nice shots, getting Rob off map. Next up here we have Pichu and Rob, who are exactly even on the board, both with 50% win rates against each other, and it looks like they're showing just that. With Pichu is getting in those early hits, but they're about even. Rob getting those counter hits again. Pichu at 40%, Rob at 32. Looks like this is gonna be a long one. Both playing extremely aggressively, but making sure not to go in for those combos. Pichu really doesn't wanna get hit by Rob right now, but he does wanna get some damage off, and it looks like he's gonna do just that. Rob now at 94% off that stage. Looks like Pichu's doing his best to counter him, and he will find that immediately. One of the major downfalls here and flaws with Rob, if Pichu can counter him and get him off map, Rob is going to have a hard time coming back. Pichu though at 95% here, Rob could be looking in for some hits and looking to get that first stock off of Pichu. Rob just dodging Pichu's hits, sort of running away right now. Looks like Rob off the map again. Pichu doing his best to counter him, and he's gonna get another stock off Rob. Rob just needs to be extremely careful. He needs to make sure to play extremely defensively, sort of in the middle of the map, making sure that Pichu can't counter when he gets off map. Rob again on that map, but it looks like Pichu will fail. Pichu won't be able to kind of counter Rob there and get him back off that map. up be there from Pichu. Pichu is at 161% here. One attack from Rob could get Pichu flying off the map. Great example right there. 171. Pichu extremely lucky. 180. Rob getting some big damage. Big hits off. But Pichu just ain't having it. 201% finally gets off map. Rob does take that first stock from Pichu. Rob's still fighting back with one stock left and 67%. He's going to have to be extremely aggressive here if he wants to win. Rob making sure to get back on that platform as quick as possible. Doesn't want Pichu countering him. Looks like Rob will beat 106% on one stock remaining. Pichu knowing just a few more hits is going to get Rob off this map. Looks like Pichu's having a hard time coming close to Rob. Rob finally finding out Pichu's weaknesses, and it looks like he's gonna get another stock off of Pichu as well. A few more hits, and he might make it even. Rob, though, at 142%, Pichu making it extremely hard for this to happen. If Rob makes sure to shield all those hits here from Pichu, he might have a chance at coming back. Does get knocked off the map but not completely, hasn't lost that last stock yet. Pichu doing his best to get him off, just continuously knocking down Rob. Rob doing his best to come back on that map, and it looks like he will. Pichu just struggling now to get Rob off that map like those first two stocks. And Rob isn't giving up, extremely lucky, 194% and he's still going. Pichu getting close to that 100 mark, he might see a comeback here. Rob back off that map again. Luckily gets on safely. Pichu just tempting him to come closer to that edge. Pichu knows what he has to do to win this fight. Looks like another nice block from Rob. Rob doing the unthinkable. I mean, how lucky it is to get to 205%. That's just some major luck here. Pichu throws him out again. Rob at 216%. 224, 230, 237. Still in the fight. But it looks like Rob will win this game. Very close and got extremely lucky. Alrighty, now we have Bowser and Wolf. With Bowser winning 70% of these matchups, I mean, pretty obvious since Wolf might have a hard time getting close to Bowser, and it looks like Bowser is doing just that. Wolf is gonna have to be extremely careful from these uppies on Bowser, and if he can keep this distance here, that's just gonna be the best route to go through. 
Wolf trying to get those close counter attacks, but Bowser just isn't letting it happen. Wolf comes back on stage, but 137 already. Bowser gets some extra hits on off of him. Wolf doing his best to recover, but unfortunately gets under that map. Wolf ready down that first stock. Bowser only at 57% here, still with all three of his stocks. Wolf already taking some more damage, but it looks like Wolf is finally understanding how to counter Bowser, doing his best to keep some distance and hitting him where he can't counterattack them. Wolf though, coming in for those counter attacks, making sure to try and get Bowser off the map here. Bowser is at 124, and it looks like Wolf will be looking for that first stock onto Bowser. Fortunately, no, Bowser does grab him, get him into that up B again. So Wolf does take quite a bit of damage here. Going up to 80% now. Nice down smash by Bowser, and these grabs are just absolutely decimating Wolf. Looks like he's gonna get him off map again and take another stock from Wolf. Bowser still sitting 135% with all of his stocks. Wolf is gonna have to be extremely just reliant here, making sure to get in those heavy hitting hits onto Bowser if he wants to get that first stock out of him. But it looks like Bowser's just showing off what his win rate does. He's just not letting that happen. Wolf is having an extremely hard time, but it looks like Wolf will find that first stock he was looking for. Looks like Wolf finally has Bowser wrapped around his tail. Both of them just playing extremely defensively here. Bowser knows just with a few more combos, he's going to get Wolf off the map. Wolf just doesn't want to let that happen. Doing his best to keep his distance, but he has to look for those kills. Bowser, unfortunately, gets a nice plummet at down B, and Wolf does go off the map, and he does get that last stock.